Hi, this is Coach David Halal. What is the best way to release resistance? What is resistance? Resistance is what is like, you know, let's say you were swimming and uh, the river is going downstream or it's going down and you're trying to go up, you see? Or let's say, you know, um, you were walking or trying to run one way and somebody w had a cord or rope in holding you in your waist, stopping you from going forward. When that happens, it's hard for you to get to where you're going and almost impossible if the person is strong enough. But the thing is, you know, when you're trying to attract something uh, or someone, a lot of times we put resistance because we are so focused on what we desire that we become our own obstacle. We are standing in our own way. And when that happens, it becomes almost impossible for you to receive or to get what you want. But thank goodness, one great thing that happens to every human is that at a certain time, you must go to sleep. When you go to sleep, when you fall asleep, you release resistance because at that time, you don't have any, uh, you know, you, 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 your conscious mind goes to sleep or your conscious mind is no longer aware. You know of what's going on. So your subconscious take over. Your heart is beating. You're breathing. You're snoring. You're sleeping. You know, you, you're chilling out. You're relaxing. And at that time, at that moment, resistance is released. But the best way for you to consciously release resistance is by meditating. And the best way I find that I can meditate is by holding and reading a book. Now, some people will say, no, reading a book is not, is not meditating. For me, when I'm reading a book, uh, uh, my heart rate, you know, at a certain time, at a certain moment when I, I lose myself in the book, I totally forget everything that I was trying to attract, you see? And I release resistance or I release what I have, what I was holding on, you see? So the best way for you to release resistance consciously, if you cannot meditate in the sense of not holding anything, just sitting, sitting in a corner and focus on your breathing or chilling, sitting in your car and focusing your breathing on your breathing is by reading a book, you know? So when you have a book in your hand, you're reading it, especially if it's a book you like, at a certain moment, you are so deep in it that you forget everything. And at that time, you release resistance consciously, resistance consciously. And that's what I do. I, I, I usually on a daily basis in the morning and in the evening, you know, and if I feel stress, I grab a book. You know, of course, we, you have Kindle or, 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 you know, on your phone or, 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 you know, on your computer or, or a paperback, you know, book that you can have in your hand and release resistance by consciously focus on that. Or, or another way you can do it is by taking a nap. I remember reading about uh, Thomas Edison. He would do that, you know. Um, every time he wanted to become, uh, uh, to, to release resistance, after he really focused on something he's trying to achieve, he's trying to accomplish, he would take a nap and he would hold a ball, actually two, two little metal balls in his hand, you know, as he's, you know, moving the ball in his hand, he will just chill out. And then while he's falling asleep, as, the, at, as soon as he, his body is falling asleep, his hand relaxes, you know, so the ball will fall. And another thing he used to, he would do is put like a, a, a crystal, you know, bowl, you know, uh, under, under the ball. So when the balls that are in his hand, you know, falls down or falls off, or fall off, they fall off in the crystal bowl and wake him up. And at that time, he knows within that 15 to 20 minutes when his body is relaxing and the ball fall, balls, balls fall from his hand, you know, at that time, he knows that his subconscious will give him the right answer. Thus, release resistance. It is very important for us and for you to release resistance if you're trying to attract greatness, if you're trying to attract 
an amount of money, you know, like I'm doing, you know, uh, like you're doing, I'm sure, you know, whether you want it or not. We all want to do better. You know, some of us have a goal of, of, of doubling our salary and some of us have a goal of becoming millionaires. Some of us have goals of, you know, um, having enough money to pay college for our kids. Me, I want to attract about $50,000 a year. And since I've focused on that and I've been working on it, you know, I can see a great increase, you know, in uh, my uh, receiving and my blessings or in what I attract, you know, when it comes to money. You know, I've more than doubled my salary, you know, so uh, uh, recently, but not, you know, I'm, st I'm still not there yet at the $50,000 mark, but, but that's the goal. That's my goal right now. I like to focus on something and make it happen. And how you release resistance is by reading. That's how I do it. It's by reading. And then, of course, there's another way, like I said, you know, by uh, taking a nap. You know, if you are not one of those people who cannot meditate or, or you know, consciously meditate because you have, I don't know, you, 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 you don't have practice or you haven't practiced it long enough or you have a ADHD, whatever it is, you know. Once you focus on what you want, you must release resistance at a certain time and allow the universe, the quantum field, to do his, its thing, to let God, you know, what they say, let go and let God. Anyway, this is Coach David Halal, uh, fearlessly and passionately pursuing his core and his destiny. Don't forget to subscribe, like my videos. I'll talk to you later. Share it and let people know that we are attracting greatness.